In Minecraft 1.19, there's a total of 71 mobs. I'm gonna talk about every single one of them and how cool they are. If you like the video, you can also subscribe as that does help. And you can also share it with your friends if you think your friends will like it too. That baby zombie is not. I need to get just learning my content. The other was one of the few mobs who made it past the Minecraft 1.19 boat. What these do is they're supposed to just take the items that you drop so if you gave them an item and there's items on the floor then they would collect it for you if it's the specified item that you're told to get i've never used this guy before he can be useful in like some cases in my opinion four out of ten but opinions can vary i haven't really used this guy the next one up is the axolotl and i feel like the majority of us can agree that this guy he's pretty cute I'll rate them a 6 out of 10 because they look cool and I feel like they're, you know, pretty cool. Uh, just look at that face for a second. The next thing on the list is the Minecraft bat. They're weird looking. My opinion on the bat is that they don't really have a use. They're just annoying creatures that get in your way. They don't harm you. They don't do nothing. They just fly around. My rating is like a 2 out of 10. These guys are useless and I don't see a point in them. Next one is the Minecraft bee. The bee is cute. It's very, very, very large. If I go in for a third person, you can see how big these guys are. I'll rate it a 6 out of 10. The next one is the blaze. Blaze is cool. They have an absolutely sick animation. I'm gonna rate these guys like a 7 out of 10, just because of how essential they are to the game. The next one up is the cat. My, in my opinion, cats are really cool. They are cute and i have a cat myself they meow quite a lot though i do like to have cats in my base if i can find them but the cats can be extremely annoying sometimes and they're great for trolls and that's also why i love them more the noises they make are really cute they just say too fre frequent like i was saying earlier i can't really say anything bad about them besides from earlier in this game's existence this cats were used to just be called ocelots and you would just tame them in the jungle i think they're most common in and there still are you can tame them with fish and then they would become a cat said you can find cats in villages and you can tame them there i'll rate these guys like a 7 out of 10 they're cute but Again, they don't really have a use, besides from being cool. I'm putting it at one. You know, this this guy isn't very... The next one up is the chicken. There's nothing wrong to say about the chicken. It's a chicken. This guy is really trying to flap his wings as much as you can, as, as you can see. He's extremely desperate to not touch the ground. They're, they're a good food source if you're, you know, if you're in hunger. And you can kind of tell whenever you look at, it, at them from this side. I'll let you guys take a while to notice why. Mainly because the dimensions of, of of their head is literally like a vertical format. A three pixel wide, like a six pixel tall head. Cool chicken. Cool chicken. I'll give it like a give it a nine out of ten just because they're a chicken. There's so many spawn eggs. Uh, the cod. First, it is one of the fish and it is a fish and that means it's a really good food source if you're just gonna jump in the water you need to grab something to eat and so you can stay alive i give i give these guys like a i'll give them a six out of ten they're cool but there again there's just just fish and i don't really see much of it 10 out of 10 no explanation needed uh creepers are mobs that were first introduced because notch was trying to create a pig and he messed up the dimensions and so he just slapped on a brass texture and just go low i don't exactly remember the story but that's basically how creepers are creepers they are uh, very dangerous though i'll give them an 8 out of 10 just because of how nostalgic they feel Dolphins are cool. They uh, they make some weird sounds. I don't really know why. <clears throat> Did you hear that? That see how weird that sound? They're just squeaking like a toy, and I don't know why. They're cool. Stop doing that. It's a no. It's cool whenever you're swimming, and you get uh, uh oh my. What is that sound? It's cool whenever you're in the ocean, and you can. It's cool whenever you're in the ocean and you can swim around and Dolphin's Grace will appear and you go 10 times faster. So I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10. 
The next thing we have on our list is the donkey. Now the donkey, as you can see, it's a smaller horse, but it doesn't go as fast as the horse. I don't even think it jumps as high as the horse. But there is one thing about the donkey that I don't think the horse has. The donkey has a way that you can store items on it using a chest. And so it is very useful uh, to transport stuff around. The problem of this though is that he's not very fast. It is a cool animal. It's good. It's pretty, it's useful. I will give it an eight out of 10. The next thing on our list is a drowned. Uh, it's, it's literally just a zombie that survives underwater. He's trying to make himself look lit. I would give it a five out of 10. Same for the zombie. So right here is a pretty big guy. It's a, a older guardian and I, and you know, just to be honest, it's it's cool. It's I, mean, I just like it's so cool that the it actually, the eye actually follows you. See how cool it is? It's a little detail. They are literally just a cube. I'm gonna say a seven out of ten for this guy. The next one up is the Enderman. I just want to say the Enderman is one, definitely one of my favorite mobs. It's not the most favorite, but it is a really cool mob. It's a very cool idea. I like it's kind of like resembling Slenderman. I like how his eyes are purple. They were originally meant to be green, but they changed the purple to fit the end dimension better. I was, I'm assuming. And they drop Ender pearls that you can use to combine with the Blaze rods to create the Eye of Ender, which you can use it. Blah 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 to defeat the Ender Dragon to win the game. So basically, this is guy is pretty cool. Uh, I would probably give it like a nine out of ten. It's just a really cool mob. The next Next one is the Endermite, and these just spawn whenever you throw a lot of Ender Pearls, and I don't know, it's just it's just a slug. It's it has a very jiggly animation. I'll give it a, a four out of ten. It I don't really see. A big use in it. Okay, the next one is the Evoker. Pretty sure a lot of you guys who have played survival for longer than a few days or something, and you know, you've played the game, you definitely do want more life. So these guys drop a totem of a dying. What that does is whenever you take a lot of damage or something and take so much damage to the point where, you know, you, you can die. You'll use the Totem of Undying, and you won't have any more, but it's still such a cool item. Overall, this guy has some really cool moves. Uh, he also has a move of Evoker Finks, which are a very cool move that I know of, and so I will show you that right after this, but I'm gonna give this guy a rating of... Uh, I will go 9 out of 10. He's just really important to the game overall. Guys, right here are the Evoker Finks. It is a very cool thing. Multiple of those come after you, and the animation's cool, and it's a very cool move. I, I, I love it. Next one is the fox. Nothing, nothing really much to say besides when they look really cute. They make funny noises and they can carry stuff in their mouth like swords and they can also sometimes carry emeralds and you can take it from them if you swap it with something else. So they are just a little bit useful but it's really rare for that to happen. They're just really cute overall with their little derby eyes. I'll give it a, I'll give it like a, like a five, like a six out of 10. It's cute but it's not the most useful. Frogs are a very cool mob. They are cute, they have good animation, and whenever a frog consumes a magma cube, there's a chance for them to drop one of these depending on which biome they're from. So overall, I really like the frog legs. It's a really cool idea. I don't know where it came from, but I will give the frog a seven out of ten it's not the most useful but it is still a really cool mob so here we have a guest it's very big and i feel bad for it because it always looks like it looks like it's crying the sounds that it makes is someone's cat yawning and just a short a little bit they shoot out fireballs from their mouth which can explode you or you can knock it back to them other than that they can they have a chance of dropping gas tears which can be used to make some pretty helpful potions so you know, it's it's a, it's it's a cool mob. Uh, I'll rate it six out of ten. This is a glow squid. I don't really think it's that useful though. It doesn't really have any use. It looks cool and pretty underwater, but the only thing it can do is color signs and make it glow, which does look cool. Just there's not much to it. Other than that, it's just a regular squid. I'll rate it four out of ten. The next animal is a goat. It will ram into you, and it would lose its horn that you can use to play sounds, like tribal music. It's pretty cool. But other than that, they're like a seven out of 10. I just like the idea, the concept of it. This is literally just a smaller and somewhat more annoying uh, Elder Guardian. So I'll rate it the same as Elder Guardian, but one point less. To me, whenever I see this hoglin, I think it's just a big chunky pig with a very misshapen vertical foam, extremely vertical format. Their proportion is completely weird. Like something is wrong with this guy. His nostrils are even off. It's, oh, it's just, it just gives you pork. So I'm gonna give it like a seven out of 10. It's just another food resource. Now this is a horse. 
I'm pretty sure most people already know, but by far, the horse is one of the most useful animals in this game because it can go really fast. It's perfect for transportation other than mine carts, and it just looks cool. It's fun to ride. It's also easy to want to go around, so I'm gonna give it like a 10 out of 10. It's a very good animal. It's just a slightly taller zombie. <laughs> These are llamas. These guys are cute, you know. They're really good animals. Uh, They spit at you. And uh, you can customize the llama. You can put things on them. It's a very cool, uh, very cool thing. Yeah, this llama. This is a nine out of ten animal. It's a really cool. Just look, look at this. Again, vertical format head. But don't, don't question. Okay. There's even an entity called Llama Spit. You can summon Llama Spit. That's how you know this is a cool mob. These guys are magma cubes. So they're literally just lava slimes. They're cool. They have a cool little spring to them. But other than that pretty useless i'll give him a four out of ten guys I, I don't know what else to say besides from it's literally just a red cow with mushrooms on it okay so that means this also gets a 10 out of 10 that's how good of an animal it is okay so at this point you might as well stop making tr more transportation of like different types of horses this is just a no it's just a meal i'll give it a six out of ten these are just cats they're pretty much the same thing as cats so they're just cats i'm gonna rate it a six out of ten these guys are just big chubby bears but pandas because that's what pandas are first you know pretty cute pandas are cute sometimes they can sp spawn of snot coming out of their nose i'll give them a six out of ten because they eat bamboo and so these are parrots they are well parrots they'll imitate mobs and so sometimes they will scare you extremely bad because they can imitate a creeper sound so they will they can imitate the hiss behind you and if you have it on your on your on like your back it's uh extremely terrifying sometimes and also you shouldn't feed them cookies i'm gonna rate it a seven out of ten you know what i'm gonna rate this i don't really think i need to say any other things they're just plain annoying bro it's a pig the pig is a really cool food source it also looks pretty derpy in its eyes so that's another cool thing i would give the pig an 8 out of 10. I don't really have much to say from these guys besides from a snort like a pig and you can trade gold of them and they'll give you stuff. It's a very good strategy, so. Now, these guys are piglin brutes and they're a lot stronger than regular piglins and they carry axes which do so much damage. Like, they are extremely powerful and they have tons of health. Their cool looking mob probably give this mob a 6 out of 10. This is just the zombie form of a piglin. It's cool looking, but I would probably just give it a 5 out of 10. This is a zoglin, which means zombified hoglin. Instead of pork, it drops rotten flesh. I would give this four out of ten these guys are dogs they're super cool they will attack for you if you tame them they're cute too i'm gonna give these a 10 out of 10 this is a zombie i was too lazy to put them on the ground i don't know it's just, it just drops around flesh you can't really use it for anything i'm gonna give it a five out of ten this is a zombie version of the horse it's cool but it's literally just a green horse and it looks pretty creepy i wouldn't want to ride on it well it's not rideable you can't ride it i don't think these even spawn in the game I guess it was it was cool while it existed. This is a zombie villager. You can cure these guys and they'll become regular villagers. You can buy stuff for a less amount of emeralds. The rating for this is going to be 8 out of 10. The witch is a villager and they would throw potions at you. It'd be really annoying because they would just spam potions or they'd be going against each other. Ow, my foot. I'll rate them a 7 out of 10. I like the idea, but I think it could have been executed just a little bit better. These guys, I don't like them. They have horrible loot, and all they do is they raid your villagers, and these guys are really just hostile in general, and they're annoying to walk past. I'm gonna give them a 6 out of 10. This is a wither skeleton. It's a skeleton, but instead of using a bow, it uses a sword, and it affects you with wither. It's also taller than a regular skeleton, I believe. I will rate it a 7 out of 10. You can also use these to craft the wither. These are polar bears. They don't have much of a use. The They drop fish, which I guess is okay i will rate the polar bear five out of ten i don't see much use for them so this is another fish it's a cool fish the rate from now on, i'm just gonna rate all the fishes the same as the cod nah jk this fish these fishes are useless they look cool and they're cool to have but they're just 
only for decoration. They don't do anything. They don't serve a purpose. You can't even eat the fish. So I'm giving it a 2 out of 10. So this is a rabbit. You guys all know what this is. It's a little cute uh, bunny, as they say. If you are trying to catch one to eat or to use in a recipe, they are extremely annoying to catch, especially whenever you need their leather. I'll give them a 5 out of 10. This is a puffer fish. It's so small. It's cute. I do like the puffer fish. If you actually go near this guy, he will blow up. And if you can't, if you have contact with him, start getting poisoned because you know poisonous puffer fish. I'll give him a six out of ten. This is a turtle. I'm giving this a nine out of ten right off the bat. You can collect their scoop. You can use it for turtle shell helmet. It does make you slower, but it does give you some pretty good buffs. It's a cool animal too. It, it's also very cute. It's a very cute animal. Cool animal. These are llamas, except they just lose all of their use because they can only be used by a trading villager. <laughs> so this and the wandering trader together, I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. These guys are cool mobs. They spawn in desert biomes. Whenever they shoot their bows, you will get slowness. I will rate it a seven out of 10. There's not much else to say besides from it being a cold skeleton. Chill bone, I don't even think that's a term. This is a strider and he, he can go through lava and he'll be completely fine. I'll give it a six out of 10. The villager is a 10 out of 10 mob. You can use them to trade with and you can get extremely OP loot. I, I think they're amazing. These guys, these, I'm giving a one out of 10. And usually they're holding an iron sword and they can go through walls and they can just attack you anytime. And it's so hard to hit them because they're so small and they move so fast. So that's why I'm giving it a one out of 10. <laughs> this is the Vindicator. The Vindicator just has an axe and goes after you. <laughs> Illusioner is a nine out of 10 mob. It's so cool and so fun to play and go against. The Iron Golem is a really cool mob. It's it is the villager's defense and you can use it to get iron if you want, if you want to. I'm gonna give a nine out of 10. It has a lot of health and it also does a lot of damage. So this is a shulker and you may notice nothing wrong with it, but inside of it, there is is indeed a shulker hiding in there. If we look inside, there is a shulker in here. And what he does is he can open the box whenever he sees someone and then he will spit out a bullet. That was the bullet. It basically can shoot towards you. It will explode. It will send you levitating into the air until you eventually fall. I'll give them a seven out of 10. These guys are the same as a magma cube, just instead they're slime and they look a little bit funnier. I would rate this the same as the magma cube, but one step higher than the magma cube because it's just, there's more uses. With slime balls, you can make leads and leads are cool to do. It's a classic animal. I would give it a six out of 10. This is a spider. These guys are cool and they don't attack during day, but whenever it's night, they do attack and it, it does get kind of wild. Uh, they can climb with the walls. These guys can drop string. Whenever you get four of them, you can craft them into a block. Spiders can also drop spider eyes, which you can use to create potions, which are really helpful. I'm gonna rate the spider a six out of 10. They are, they are kind of annoying sometimes. These guys are like horses, just instead they look a lot cooler and they swim faster underwater. I think they do run faster. The downside to them is that they don't have as much health as you can probably tell. Okay, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. This is a skeleton. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, these guys are just regular skeletons. They'll have a bow and arrow and they will shoot at you using the bow and arrow. I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. I did lie by saying there are 71 mobs. There's actually more than 71 entities. It's gonna take me so long to edit. These are squids. They are squids. They're like blue squids, but they're more original and they drop ink sacks, which you could use to make black dye. I believe you can use it to write in books. Like I'll rate them a five out of 10. This is a silverfish. I'm rating it a one out of 10. I don't like these guys. They can hide inside of stone and break one stone. Every single other stone just 
breaks and then all of them start jumping after you. This is a Ravenger. It's like a rhino. I don't think you can ride it. I wish you could though, because there is like a thing up here. Someone has to make it so you can ride a Ravenger, but these are usually used in villager raids. They can obliterate the citizens there. So these guys are tough, uh, but I really like how they look. So I'm going to give it a seven out of 10. The Warden. It is a very tall mob. It's taller than the Iron Golem. It looks so cool. The animation is amazing. It's It has tons of health. You wouldn't want to mess with it. It doesn't drop anything. So it's more of a natural disaster you'd want to stay from than fight. I'm rating the Warden a 10 out of 10. Right here we have the Wither. It's a classic mob. This mob is extremely cool. And you can get it by getting three Wither Skeleton Heads and put them on soul sand. It's a really cool creation. They drop another star, which you can use to craft a beacon, which can give you perks that is really helpful. This is the Ender Dragon. It is extremely cool. This is the final boss of the game. The dragon also drops a dragon egg. It's just a cosmetic kit that you can't actually do anything with. But I'm gonna rate this a 10 out of 10. Well, that was the end of the video, so, um... Uh, why is it start raining now?